Yes, now we turn the spotlight on one of Manitoba's deserving young athletes. Yeah, it's part of what we call the BT Athlete of the Week. This Athlete of the Week segment is brought to you by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Show your stripes. To this day, he still doesn't like being the youngest member. He, every time there's a camp, he's like, so how old are you? Oh, I'm still younger than you. What about you? And yeah, I think next year he might finally not be the youngest anymore. Hanika Nakigawa is speaking to us about her 14-year-old brother Tyrone, who for the last three years has been the youngest member of the Winnipeg Rowing Club. You can find Tyrone out on the waters of the Assiniboine as soon as the ice melts in the spring and all summer long. He is a regular fixture at the rowing club, either training for his one-man sweeping events or working on the shells with his father. Being the youngest member of the rowing club is a slight disadvantage for Tyrone in competition where older athletes may have more power or technique. However, this only drives him to work harder, striving to excel in the sport he loves and to constantly improve his skills. I rowed uh, for the Junior B men's double and I came fifth and I said, okay, next year I'm going to try my best to become first. <laughs> then last year I was in the Junior B men's double and then we came second, I'm going, uh, this year, we're gonna get first. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get first for once. For the Nakigawa's, rowing is a family affair. Both Tyrone and his sister got into the sport as a result of the summer camp offered by the rowing club. Their father, Sapuru, joined them in the water shortly afterward, having received a pass as a Father's Day gift. What an awesome nice. idea. It was on the river that they all discovered they had a passion for the sport. Tyrone's mother, Sandy, also loves rowing and has followed it for years. She enjoys the experience of sitting back and watching from the <laughs> riverbank, acting as a cheerleader, smoothie maker, and supporter for her family. I love watching them. I mean, I'm, I'm weird that way. I'll walk along Lindale Drive and walk back and watch them on the river and spy at them on them but from behind bushes. I never get tired of watching them row. That's because of his dedication and his sport that we here at Breakfast Television are extremely to have, happy to name Tyrone Nakigawa as this week's BT Athlete of the Week. He reserved deceived a prize pack courtesy of Kellogg's. And the last word goes to Tyrone who recognizes the importance of rowing in his life and what the sport has given back to him. It changed my life because we were a huge fam. I knew it was like a big family from the start and when I joined in they accepted me. They said, welcome, and they put me in that family, and I was just so happy. If you know an outstanding athlete, contact us at breakfasttelevision.ca. The Athlete of the Week was brought to you by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Show your stripes. Congratulations, so, Tyrone. Yeah, and what a young gentleman. He seems much older than he has, only 14. <laughs> And he's doing excellent, excellent things. And mom, uh, awesome for you for being a cheerleader and can't fault you for watching him. I, I don't know anybody who doesn't go over the bridge and slow down <laughs> when you see him on the river. It's hard not to. It is amazing, and it's a very difficult sport. If you haven't done it, it is incredibly challenging. So to be that young and be that important of a role with the team is really great. Well done, well done. Congratulations. If you want to see that again or you want more information on the Athlete of the Week, just hit breakfasttelevision.ca. Still to come, we'll talk about the benefits of aromatherapy. I can help you with things like uh, dry skin or even insomnia. Mm -hmm. But our buddy Drew Kozov has some ideas on remote today, looking at what you can expect at the Mexican Pavilion. <laughs> Got a little something I can't resist. I got a little 